This is a pretty interesting problem. We are given the following shape, which has three right angles. Its side lengths are 4, 3, 4, and 5. The question is to find the length of the last side, which is labeled as x. Can you solve this? As a first step, we can extend this line to meet this horizontal line, and let us label it as y. Let us draw a line which is parallel to this line, such that this is also a right angle. So this length will be 4, and this length will be the same as y. Now since this is 5, so this will be 5 minus y. Let us label this piece as L. Now since this is a right triangle, so using Pythagoras' theorem, this piece, which is the hypotenuse square, or L square, will be equal to 4 square plus 5 minus y, the whole square. Now here comes the magic. Assume this is angle theta. Now since this is 90, so this will be 90 minus theta, and therefore this angle will also be theta. Therefore both of these triangles are similar. So by using a similar triangle property this length, which is 4 upon this length, which is hypotenuse or 3 plus y, will be the same as this length which is 4 upon this hypotenuse which is L. These 4s will get cancelled out, and we will get L equals 3 plus y. We can put this value of L here and solve for y. 3 plus y whole square will be equal to 4 square plus 5 minus y whole square. 3 plus y square is 9 plus y square plus 6y. And the right-hand side will be 16 plus 25 plus y square minus 10y. These y squares will get cancelled out, and on rearranging, we get 16y equals 32. This gives us y equals 2. Put y equals 2, and we get this hypotenuse length as 5, and this is 4. So using 3, 4, 5 triangles, we know that this will be 3. Now this L will be 3 plus y, which is 3 plus 2 or 5. So the value of x will be 3 plus 5 equals 8. So good.